The world's first browser was launched in the year of 1990 and it has been 30 years since then. Even no two browser developers can agree on which technologies to support and which do not. Because of which each same website renders completely differently on different browsers. Hey everyone, this is Neha from Edureka and in this video I will talk about what exactly is browser compatibility testing and why do you need it? Let's have a look at the agenda for the session. First, I will talk about what is cross browser compatibility and next I will tell you why do you need cross browser testing and after that we will be seeing how it works. In order to understand working of cross browser testing, I will demonstrate one of the useful tool that is lambda test and showcase the demo on cross browser testing. I hope you like the agenda. So before I move ahead, can I get a quick confirmation as whether I'm audible or not? So all right, let's get started. First, let's see what is cross browser compatibility. Cross browser compatibility is the ability of a website or a web application to function across different browser and operating systems. Which means your web applications or website should work absolutely fine across all the browsers like Chrome, Firefox, Safari and even across all the operating systems such as Windows, Mac and iOS. But at times that's not the case and that's where you need to understand the concept of cross browser testing. So basically a simple website is comprised of three major technologies that is HTML, CSS and JavaScript. But there are other hundreds of technologies that is there in the back end like you have Python, Ruby, Node and these can be used for your back end work. But overall in the front end in the rendering only these three main technologies are used. However, each browser use a completely different rendering engine to compute these three technologies. For example, Chrome use Blink, Firefox use Geeko and Internet Explorer use Edge HTML and Chakra. Because of which same website would be rendered completely differently by all these different browsers and that's why you need cross browser testing. So in order to get a better perspective, let's look at the stats here. Chrome is 61% popular and its market share is 63.50% which is the highest value when compared to other browsers. Whereas Safari owns about 19% of the market share and other browsers have much less market share than these browsers. So now let's have a look at the data that is related to traffic that you get on these browsers. Now let's say you get a web traffic of around 100,000 people a month. Considering 15% of the people use Safari, then only 454 people will be the paying customers for you in this month. Now if you sum up Safari, Edge and Internet Explorer, then the total number of people that will be paying for you will be 454 plus 84 plus 64. So if you have not tested your website on all the other browsers, then you would be losing around 7224 customers a year. And if you can say that one customer will give you $100 a year, then you would be losing around $722,400 a year and that's a lot of money. And that's because your website is not functioning fine in all the three different browsers. And that is exactly why you need cross browser testing. Now, the next question that pops up is how to perform cross browser testing. So, it is performed with live interaction testing on all browsers, browser versions, and the operating systems along with all the major mobile devices. So, it is basically done with two methods that is manual as well as automated way. It is performed with live interactions on all browsers, browser versions and operating systems along with all the major mobile devices. It is basically done with two methods that is manual as well as automated way. So first manual method. In this case, a business identifies the browsers that the application must support. Testers then rerun the same test cases using different browsers and observe the application's behavior and report bugs if there are any. In this type of testing, it is not possible to cover many browsers and also the application might not be tested on major browser versions. Also, performing cross browser check manually is costly and time consuming too. Next, talking about the automated way, cross browser testing is basically running the same set of test cases multiple times on different browsers. 
So this type of repeated task is best suited for automation. Thus, it is more costly and time effective to perform this type of testing by using tools. But again, there's a challenge over here. That is, there are lots of browsers and mainly used ones are Chrome, Firefox, Safari, Internet Explorer, Edge, etc. And again, each browser have at least 10 versions like Chrome have, Chrome 72, 70, 68 and so on. Also, there are four main operating systems and they have again five versions like Windows have Windows 98, XP, Windows 7, 8 and Windows 10. So in total, there are more than 2000 browser environment. However, collecting a browser and browser environment is a challenge for anyone and that's where Lambda test comes in. Lambda testing is a cloud based cross testing platform. It is one of the amazing tool for cross browser testing. What basically was done was Lambda test collected all the browsers, browser versions, operating system types and its versions and created machines out of them. After that, they collected all those machines and deployed under a cloud based platform. So if you want to test a website or a web app on a specific configuration that you don't have access to, Lambda test gives you a solution. You just have to log into Lambda test, enter the URL of the website that you wish to test, and start off the session where you can test the website for browser compatibility issues. Now let's have a look at the demo where you will understand how actually this Lambda test works. So this is a Lambda test platform to see how real time testing looks like. So real time testing is a feature that gives you a live interaction testing of a website or a web application. So there's a dashboard. There's a real time testing. There's a visual UI testing automation. You can log your test records over here and if you have any bug you can track it with this issue tracker. There are integrations and settings as well. Now I will tell you how to perform lambda testing of a website on this particular lambda test platform. So I have placed a URL of Edureka blog website and I will do one thing. I'll choose Chrome say I want to run it on 72 or say 73 the latest version of Chrome and I want to run it on operating system that is Windows 10. So now what I'll do I'll start this test. So first what happened it allocated a cloud machine configured the operating system preparing a clean browser profile and then we are ready to take off. So you can see here that Edureka blog website was launched. Suppose say I want to search for selenium blocks. I'll just write selenium and choose whatever the blocks I want and I can read the following blog and I can also browse all the courses like DevOps, big data, data scientists and everything. I can go back. There's BI and visualization. There is programming and frameworks like you have Python scripting, Java training, you have cloud computing, etc. Also, I can click on this hyperlink to know what is Selenium Web Driver. I can log in if I have the credentials to log in. I can close this. So basically, on Google Chrome version 73 and on Windows 10 platform, my website is functioning perfectly fine. Now, let's do one thing. Now, say I want to perform the cross browser testing on Windows XP on Chrome version 40. I'll start the test. So it started allocating a machine and then following the next steps. Let's wait. So you can see the older Chrome version how it looks like. So here you can see this tab the down one shows it is Windows XP and this is the older version of Chrome. Yes, again I can carry out all the same actions like I can click on this particular blog and I can read this blog and many more things. So now I want to perform a cross browser testing on Mozilla version 60. No, no. Let me take up older version and I want to perform it on Windows 7. Yes, let's start. So you can see here this is older version of Mozilla on Windows 7 platform. So I can choose the trending courses. I can click on login. I can search for the blogs. So even on the oldest Firefox version on Windows 7 platform, my website is functioning perfectly fine. 
that means it is compatible with even this version as well now i want to perform it on a mobile website so i want to use android and i want to use sony xperia on google chrome now let's see how it works so basically this is the xperia version so it got redirected to edureka blog website say i want to click on the devops interview questions and you can see the whole thing even on mobile platform as well it's functioning perfectly fine that means my website is compatible with even mobile operating system as well yes i can even click on this link and check for the latest blogs i can read the particular blog as well there's a screenshot option as well it's nothing but i'm operating on a mobile screen that's all now say i want to check the compatibility of the website on ios iphone access device and i want to work it on operating system 12 and firefox let's start so you can see even this is compatible with apple iphone as well and i can click on cheat sheet i can click on interview questions i can navigate through videos etc so this is how you can check the cross browser compatibility or perform cross browser testing to check whether a particular website is functioning perfectly fine or not now say i just want to navigate through edureka.co website and check it let's see whether it works perfectly fine or not yes even that's working perfectly fine so this is the latest version of chrome you can see various trainings over here your blogs your corporate training and there's some offer as well now say i want to take a screenshot let's see how so first i'll place a url so you can see that there's an option for 25 browsers that is you can take 25 screenshot at one particular instance like at one shot or at one time you can take 25 screenshots so in windows 10 platform i'll choose 73 yes in mozilla i will choose 61 in opera i'll choose 49 and edge i'll choose 11 yes and coming now to windows 7 i'll choose chrome 69 and 58 i'll choose firefox and 47 opera and i'll go to mobile platform i'll choose iphone xr i'll choose iphone 5s i will choose iphone 3gs yes so i have basically choose 10 options among mobile and website browsers i'll click on capture so your test has been added to queue it's saying so basically you can see that there are seven desktop and three mobile options that is i have taken 10. so basically what you can do is you can compare the screenshots based on different browsers different operating systems and check how your website performs and how your website looks in either of the operating systems and browsers and you can check the compatibility of that so now suppose in this video there's a bug so what i'll do i can just mark it I can print an arrow and say mark as a bug. So there are tools like you know GitHub, Asana, Slack, Jira. If I want to use for Jira, I'll click on that and I'll choose add. So basically I have to add all the details and generate the token and then install it. So you can see the assignee, the type of issue, its priority, say it's a low, and its summary I have to write this particular button is not functioning fine i can give the description and i can just create the issue see you can see that bug was marked successfully if you want you can save this so this is all about windows 7 and chrome 69 version so again you can do the same thing marking saying there's a bug here you can mark it you can write the text like text box is not working right and i can mark it as a bug if i have to mark it as a bug again i need to give all the details and then proceed further sounds much simple right to take the screenshots and compare it and even if you want to mark it as a bug it's very easy in just one click you can do everything right so that's why i said lambda test is an amazing platform to check the compatibility of your website on all the different browser versions and all the operating systems as well and this if you want to check for the responsive so i will place the url and i'll set the size of the monitor and there's a screen size and i'm using which phone galaxy note 9. 
So I'll click on generate. So it will generate on this mobile platform now. Yes, you can see the Edureka website got launched on your Galaxy Note 9 and it's working perfectly fine. So I can click on the big data courses and I can do many other things as well, right? So if you want to check it in landscape mode, even that is possible. If you want to check it on iPhone X, I just have to click on the particular device and it will be ready. So you can see here there is something like timeline. If you want to wish to learn about it, you can go to the help and you can just click on getting started and you will get to know many other things about getting started with Lambda Test Selenium Automation Grid. It's basically a free tool. You can click on Java. You can click on CI CD and everything. And if you want to log any of the tests, then you can log it over here. So basically before what I did, I took a screenshot test and I logged it and even I have performed many real time browser tests as well. You can see that we just did in a while and there's a issue tracker. I just said the issue that is the videos button was not functioning. So I logged the issue and you can see the date and time of the issue that was logged in the issue tracker because I have logged the issue and you can see the details at its priority is low, the reporter, the type of a bug and it's in open state. And there's even a screenshot of this which implies about the bug where I have marked it. So you can add the comparison images here and check on in which browser or in which version of the browser it's functioning perfectly fine. If you wish to take up Lambda test for checking the cross browser compatibility and to perform cross browser testing, then you can take up the light version of this, which is free for you and you can test it across your platforms, your browsers. You can do many other things as well, like you can track the issue. You can log the test and many more. So these are the integrations like we have so many things for WordPress as well for Chrome extension plugins for Jira, GitLab and many other tools. So I hope you understood how the cross browser testing works and how to check the compatibility of your website on a particular browser and its version and operating system platform as well. And I hope you also understood how to take the screenshots, how to log an issue and how to mark it as a bug and also how you can take 25 screenshots at a stretch and compare them based on your requirement. And that's all about it. I hope you found this session very interesting. So that was all about this session. If you have any queries, you can comment in the comment section below and we will reply back to you at the earliest. So that's all for today. Thank you and have a nice day. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning.